Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. Let me right click on the first page.html, open with the Firefox. Let me right click once again on the first page.html, open with the notepad to see the source code. In the previous tutorial, we understood how the heading tags are useful to display headings in the browser. I am going to delete them. Fine. Save. Go to browser and refresh. We know that if we have a separate opening tag and a separate closing tag for an HTML tag, that such tag is known as paired tag. If we have the opening tag as well as closing tag present in the single tag, then such HTML tag is known as unpaired tag or a standalone tag. Similarly, the amount of space a HTML element or a HTML tag takes on the browser, we categorize these HTML tags into two different types. One is block level tag and another one is inline tags. Now what is the difference between block level tag and the inline tag? Block level tags are those tags which take the complete width of its parent tag. Even though you have a less amount of content to be displayed on the browser, because of the HTML tag, that content takes the complete width of its parent tag. Whereas, the inline tags are those tags which take the amount of space required to display the content on the browser. Take an example. We understand here step by step what is the difference between the block level tag and the inline tag. Let's understand what is a block level tag and what is an inline tag. One example we see here. I write here high HTML high HTML exclamation mark. I just go to file, save, browser, refresh. Now what happens here is the browser will display your each character one after the another left to right from top to down. So here high HTML exclamation mark got displayed. No problem in that. Now let me put these, this high HTML exclamation mark in between the H1, the opening H1 tag and the closing H1 tag. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We are going to find this high HTML exclamation mark displayed in a little bit larger size. Now what happened here actually means H1 tag is an example for a block level tag. Now as I told that the block level tags are going to take the complete width of its parent tag. Now what is that? Let's understand. I go to start, click on the run button and then I say here MS Page. MS Paint has got displayed. Now let's consider this is the browser window and let's consider this is the body section of the browser and we know that we will be having here close button, maximize and minimize button, right? So this section that you see is the body section. Whatever we write in the body section, that will get displayed in this blue colored rectangle area. Okay, this is the body section. Now here we need to understand we have enclosed or we have sandwiched high HTML exclamation mark in between the H1 tag. Then what happens actually means the browser will display high HTML exclamation mark. It has displayed like this. But one thing you need to know is the H1 tag is going to acquire this much amount of space on the browser. So you should understand, even though you have the content to be displayed is high HTML exclamation mark, the H1 tag will take this complete space. So it takes the complete width of its parent tag. Parent tag is a body tag, so it will take the complete width of the body. Height will be same, height will not be changed, the height will be as it is, but the width will be 
complete window width. So if I display in front of this Edward tag high HTML exclamation mark and I say file save, what do you think what happens? As we know that the Edward tag is taking complete width of the browser window, this high HTML exclamation mark will get displayed in the next line. Let's see that. I go to browser and refresh. Check out that. High HTML exclamation mark was displayed in the next line. That is the reason we say that H1 tag is a block level tag. Now, you should tell me. I am going to put a break tag here and then I say high HTML exclamation mark. Now we know that the break tag will move the control to the next line and then it displays high HTML exclamation mark on the browser. Fine, save, go to browser and refresh. Here we are. Now what I do, I use another tag called as a U tag. I, I write just before the H, the opening U tag. After the exclamation mark, I close the U tag. And after that I write high HTML exclamation mark. Five, six. What do you think? U tag is a block level tag or an inline tag? Now, as I told that, inline tags are going to take only that much amount of space which is required to display the actual content. So, the U tag will take only this much amount of space size. The remaining space is empty. The remaining space is used to put some other content. So here what happens means high HTML exclamation mark will be as it is. This HTML exclamation mark will be underlined. This high HTML exclamation mark will get displayed in front of the previous high HTML exclamation mark. So let's see, file, save, go to browser and refresh. Check out that. This has got displayed in front of this content. So U tag is an inline tag. It is not taking the complete browser width. It is taking only this much amount of space. So that is the difference between the block level tag and the inline tag frame. I hope you guys have understood what is the difference between the block level tag and inline tag. Try the pre tag. Try the i tag. And identify whether the pre tag is a block level tag or an inline tag. Try whether the i tag is a block level tag or inline tag. Hope you guys have understood. For this tutorial, this much is enough, friends. For more benefits, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.